cybersecurity analyst and joins me now from Brussels. Thanks so much for coming onto the program. Uh, just uh, talk us through how sophisticated and organized this attack was and why this particular company, Kaseya, was targeted. Well, it's um, actually indeed a very sophisticated attack this time um, because um, by attacking Kaseya and actually the software behind it, um, they could actually reach a lot of companies and they can at this moment possibly more than 1,000 um, uh, companies are actually hit by this and possibly even more um, because of course those companies are delivering software to other companies and that's the real problem. So it's actually like a, a cascade effect of um, infections which is going on at this moment or actually uh, which was going on uh, of course in the in a couple of hours just before this. Um, it makes also uh, one of the reasons as well that it uh, made it a very sophisticated attack is that it was launched just um, around the 4th of July in the States which means that a lot of people were not behind the desks or were not uh, able to, um, you know, do something against this kind of attack immediately. And that's, of course, one of the reasons why um, this became possibly one of the biggest uh, ransomware attacks um, until now. Eddie, they are demanding $70 million to restore the data. Do you think Kaseya will actually uh, pay this or is there a way of, uh, of countering what's been done? Uh, personally, I don't believe that uh, Kaseya will pay 70 million. If they do that, it will be the biggest amount which has been paid to uh, cyber criminals until today. Um, of course, it is very problematic, of course, uh, to reach a solution and to find a good solution at this moment. So uh, experts, uh, cyber experts, are actually trying to find a solution for this at this moment as well. Of course, paying is an option, but um, it's of course also helping the cyber criminals itself. So that's not a good idea, unfortunately. And, and Eddie, it's of course not the first time we're seeing uh, this uh, kind of attack. This may be just a, a bigger one at this time, but is there a reason for the increased frequency of such incidents? Yes, we think so. Um, actually, the problem is that um, all companies and uh, people seem to continue to pay, and that's part of the problem. If we continue to pay uh, these large amounts, because of course we see really millions being paid in these kind of situations, uh, the problem is that this uh, problem seems to be continuing. This seems to be well, a, a very good uh, business model for the cyber criminals themselves. So that's possibly part of the reason why this is continuing and is even uh, well, increasing. Um, and of course, uh, let's hope this will uh, stop at some point. But uh, of course, it's very difficult to say that. Yeah, very concerning uh, situation. Eddie Willems, appreciate your, your input on this live to us there from Brussels. Thank you.